の子運がいいわだって私はこの毒が大根Alright, in this episode, I really think that Luffy uses 120% of his brain. I mean, the subtleties of this message that he conveys, right, in very few words, really do have a lot of depth to him. Now, for all of us that know Luffy, he's really a man of a few words, right? He's kind of like the guy that、uh, will jump in first and figure out. What's going on later, right? He'll figure it out as he takes action. But this time, he decides to take a page out of Erdwin's book and inspire the soldiers that he's dealing with using the Bible. Now, Udon Village is a prison filled with a bunch of samurai traders that have been captured by Kaido. They're really there to have their souls crushed, right? Squeezed like lemons until they either decide to join Kaido or they die. Big ol' juicy lemon waiting to get squeezed. Now, Luffy being the main character, obviously he finds himself in this prison, really having a terrible time and trying to figure out how he can get out. Now, here's the thing as Luffy starts to break out, Right? He has a lot of soldiers that he's already inspired that are willing to follow him. Until the bad guys use these bullets that turn you into suffering zombies, if you will. I mean, these guys start feeling excruciating pain. Now, naturally, everyone starts freaking out. And they're really questioning whether they should be following Luffy to begin with, and they're starting to turn against him. Now, Luffy is really trying to figure out how can he get these soldiers back on his side. Not only that, but to have them realize that what they're doing actually doesn't make any sense. So, in typical anime fashion, Luffy decides that the best way to do this is to infect himself. So he basically grabs a bunch of them and gives them a bear hug, getting himself infected. Now, obviously, this is crazy because no one would put themselves, themselves through that pain. But this is crazy enough to actually get the soldiers to start listening to Luffy. And once Luffy has their attention, he tells them, either join me or join Kaido. There are no other options here, right? Your inability to make a decision, right? Your choice to just sit here and deal with things are already making a choice. You are already helping Kaido because you're choosing not to help me. No reason for our own allies to stand in our way! Pick up your minds right now! Are you guys with us? Are you with Kaido? So Luffy tells them that they should believe in him, that he is going to save them. He is going to save the land of Wano. And he drives this point home. He tells them, You can either choose to join me or join Kaido. Right? There is no middle ground. By you not choosing to join me or taking an inaction, Meaning, you're just choosing to be in prison. You're actually joining Kaido because, at the end of the day, if you're not helping me, you're helping him. And this moment actually hit home for me the same way that it hit home for the prisoners that he is talking to. Because sometimes when we are stuck, right, we think that the best thing to do is for us to not do anything at all. But in fact, in us making that choice, We are making a choice, right? We are moving the needle in one way versus the other, right? If I'm not making my situation better, then by default, I'm making it worse. And this is actually the same choice that Jesus gives to the crowd that he's speaking to in Matthew 12 30, where he says, Whoever is not with me is against me, 
and whoever does not gather with me scatters right so this verse here emphasizes a clear division right you are either aligned with god or you are not right similarly to the choice that luffy is giving these prisoners either join me or join kaido right there is no middle ground and in life a lot of the times there truly is no middle ground your your inability to not make a choice is already making a choice it's already moving the needle one way over the other right there is a cost to our inaction and i think that that's one of the lessons that we're learning here not only from luffy but obviously from jesus himself right jesus made the one and only sacrifice that could be made to reunite us with god right he died on the cross and rose on the third day so that we could have a choice of having eternity with god which was a choice that we did not have before so there is no middle ground where oh i'm just not gonna choose any religion or i'm not gonna choose any god right in that you're defaulting to be against christ because christ is clear you're either with me or you are against me you're either choosing to have faith in me or you are not and in that case then that is also going to have its own repercussions right it's kind of like you know in the society that, that we are in today um there's a lot of people that choose to be the victim they choose to play the victim and a lot of the times our inability to move forward right just feeling bad for ourselves really are making our situations worse where you could be making choices to better your situation right it may not be ideal but you choosing to not do anything it's already making your situation worse so instead of making it worse why not make it better why not make a choice to improve the current situation that you are in and truly that is the message here and the same way that luffy gives a choice to the prisoners the same way that jesus chooses to give a choice we are also called as christians to help people realize that they have a choice to make right by evangelizing by sharing with them the scriptures we are bringing them a choice and it is up to us to help them realize that they have a choice and the choice really is join christ accept jesus or be against him all right guys well i'm really enjoying this wano arc to be honest i feel like it's one of the best uh storytelling that i've seen from one piece in a while i hope that you found this helpful and as always just want to remind you that we must persevere peace